So now that we understand void star better, we should do something with uh, function pointers. So in languages like Python, it's easy to pass one function to another function. I don't know if you know any Python, but basically what's happening here is you pass the function f to the function g, and then g can call f and do whatever it wants with the input function. <coughs> so it's really easy there. And in C, there is support for something uh, similar. And I've come up with just kind of a silly example of this. So this is a function for comparing two objects. Um, so <coughs> there are several comparison functions that you may uh, be familiar with, like string comp is one, um, mem comp is another. And what these are is just ways of, of ordering elements. Like if you have an array and you want to sort it, let's say you want to sort a bunch of numbers, like 1, 16, 52, um, or you might want to sort a bunch of words like blah, 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 and da, 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 and, um, and so on and so forth. So if you've studied, if you have a an undergraduate degree in math, then you know that there are many different types of order for the same set of objects. Like, sure, we can we can order these things according to alphabetical order, but we can order them lots of other ways too. Like, maybe we'll order them in terms of the number of characters they have, in terms of their length, or there's something else called lexicographic order. And similarly, we might want to order these in some weird way. Maybe there's some function and we really want to order these according to how the magnitude of the output of the function when we use these as inputs or something. So when you when you have several ways of ordering things, you need several different kinds of comparison functions, and all these compar comparison functions kind of work the same way, and they're kind of based on this model. So this is a dumb function, uh, num comp, for telling whether one integer is bigger than another integer. So of course we have like the built-in less than operation that does that. So we don't need this function numcomp, but it kind of shows where the uh, the scheme for the other comparison functions comes from. So what I'm doing here, it takes void stars as, as input, and I convert those to integer types. And once I have the of cast to integer and then I dereference, it's basically just the difference of the two. It's just a minus b. So consider the difference of two numbers a minus b like this. So if it's positive, then a if this is if this is positive, then um, a is bigger than b. Uh, if it's if a minus b is equal to zero, then a is b. And if a minus b is negative, then uh, b is greater than a. Okay, so you can sort of encode these three possibilities as positive, zero, and negative numbers, and it's all based on this model of just taking the difference. So all those comparison functions, their output works exactly like that. So the idea is, if you have any kind of comparison function, if it returns a a negative value, then the second input is bigger. If it returns a zero value, then the things are equal. If it returns a positive value, then, then one is bigger than the other. All right. Um, so what I've written here, the size teller function, it takes, a, it takes a function as input. So this is the syntax for passing one function to another function. And so this says whether a is bigger than b with respect to this function that defines the ordering. And uh, so later on in the code, I'm going to make C and P equal to this thing. Um, so the notice that there's a correspondence here. This is an example of a function that can be passed in as this parameter, but they have to have the same prototype. So they both return an int, check, right? And they both take two void stars, check, check. And as for why you need to put this in parentheses and put a little star here, I have no idea. That's just the way the people who invented C decided to define a function pointer. 
and once you pass it in you can use it as a function just as if it were globally declared somewhere in this file. This function cmp is never is never defined anywhere in this file or anywhere else. Where it came from is it was passed in as a parameter. And how do you do that? Um, well, if you if you want just a local copy of a function like numcomp that you can use in your code, you can declare a function pointer in your code like this. And again, the prototype matches uh, what this thing is. And then I can pass that local variable in as the comparison function to the size teller function. I could just send that numcomp. I, I could send numcomp in there directly. It, that would also be fine. I'm just uh, showing showing the, the syntax for coming up with a local copy of a function. Uh, so that's how it all works and maybe we should compile this and, and run it a couple times. And So it says the second one is bigger which is true. Now if we change this to 39 we'll get uh, the output that says the first one is bigger and now if we change them both to 29 then they're going to be equal to each other. Okay things are equal. So all that stuff is really relevant for using library sort functions. So this is code that I stole off the internet and I stole it from this website c++.com. It's the first thing that came up when I googled qsort and it'll probably come up for you too. Um, so this is just an example of how to use uh, the qsort function which is a library function that's defined in the standard library and it's a fast sorting algorithm. So what it's going to do is sort that array of values. Um, so when qsort sorts, so here's where qsort gets called, if it's going to sort those values it needs to know what you mean by one element being bigger than another. So obviously there's the standard numerical order in which 2 is less than 25, which is less than 56, which is less than 88, which is less than 100. But what if you want to sort those things in reverse order? Then you could do that just by passing qsort a comparison function that says that the smaller number is bigger. You know what I mean? So what you would have to do in this comparison function is just to erase A and replace it with B. And let's actually do that. Let me compile this code. Um, so I've got w sort is the name of this file. And before sorting the list, the list is blah, blah, blah. After sorting it, the list is that. So this is an in increasing order. If I wanted to come in decreasing order, then I could just re reverse the role of A and B. And now big means small. And so there are obvious, obviously lots of other possibilities. You know, maybe you want to know whether B mod, um, you know, some big, some number like 100 is, I don't know. There are lots and lots of things you could do. And speaking of other things you could do, you could use it to sort uh, strings instead of numbers. So this is, you know, the power of, of the, v, the void star type is that the same function can not only sort integers but can also sort strings which is just a completely different beast and the thing that makes it possible is the fact that you can pass in a different comparison function and the comparison function that you want to use is uh, it seems like you should pass it string comp directly the reason you can't pass it string comp is because string comp has slightly wrong prototype it, it takes const chars instead of void stars. Um, but if you look at the the prototype for library quicksort, the comparison function that it takes takes uh, void constants, void star constants. And so you can't send it string comp directly, which is kind of frustrating. I had to Google around before I figured that out. And but once all that once all that is sorted out, then it just works the same way. So here's the array of things to be sorted. This is the number of things in the array. This is the number of bytes taken up by each respective thing. So here I assume that um, each of these is a string of length 10. And uh, this is the comparison function. And almost the same code as before, can be used to sort the strings. So now it goes in alphabetical order. Curly, Groucho, Harpo, Larry, Moe, Shep. 
Is that alphabetical order? Yeah, it is. Um, if you wanted to, though, you could do something like um, str len a uh, minus str len b. So what happens if we do it that way? Then you get them sorted according to the length of the words. And just as an exercise, maybe you want to look at the Wikipedia entry for lexicographic ordering and, and do it that way. Or is that just dictionary ordering? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, lexicographic ordering with, with um, words would not be interesting. But it is interesting with numbers. So what if you ordered the, uh, the numbers lexicographically? That would be kind of crazy. Um, for instance, 100 would be the smallest one, right? This would be the smallest number because if in alphabetical order, one would come less than all of these others. And so it would go 100, uh, 2, 25, 56, 88. That would be the lexicographic ordering of those integers. So that's it.